Dre's Place Barbecue in Palm Bay, Florida at the Food Truck Wars 2014. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of work, man. No rest for the weary, buddy. Uh, we headed over there in a few minutes. I'm just filling up water tanks, and uh, we're getting ready to go get it. So we should be at the park. We should be at the park, and uh, I'm right behind the park, actually. If I could back up and pull out, I can go straight in almost into the park. That's how close I am. Good morning, America. Jay, tell us about what's wrong with your truck. Well, America came in last night limping about 400 miles out. The, uh, the um, pressure pump, uh, uh, one of the uh, seals busted in it. Got to fix it this morning. Got my brother-in-law down here helping me out. We loading up, you know, the beast so we can go throw down a day at Food Truck Wars here this morning. Getting ready for our debut cooking show, guys. We're gonna cook this morning a meatloaf, barbecue meatloaf is gonna be called with a mashed potato and an asparagus. It's gonna be some kind of delicious. And we're gonna give it to you guys. We're gonna give you a chance to get some great smell of vision going on. And it's gonna be ooh wee. It's the challenge of Food Truck Wars. Everything's a challenge. They're trying to say Dre didn't pay for his room, but he didn't pay. She act like she told her boss yesterday, I gotta go take a break outside and then I'll come back in and do my work on my time. She act like it was such a big thing. Woo! It wasn't even that hard. They made it hard. Morning, how are you this morning? Who calls? Somebody calls me to get paid. I did not call. I tell he come in and do it for this. Okay. We do it. Give him my receipt. That's my receipts. That's for yesterday and today. That's for two days. We'll be out here in the morning. This one is for only one room. It's for only four thirty. Only four thirty get paid yesterday. Okay. They call the other two. It's three pages. Look, that's three. She print three pages, but it's only one room get paid. We pay one forty nine. We pay one forty nine for this one. We pay one forty nine for these three too. Add add the forty nines up, and they'll come to the one forty nine uh, eighty two. So you can have a quarter of me, sir. Here, there you go. That little half black bitch in there, she's saying, still only one room. She looking at the receipts and still saying it's only one room oh. that we paid for. Oh, that okay. ain't our problem about Then she wanted Dale to turn the, the uh, yeah, camera Yeah, she didn't off. want me to film she her. She didn't want him to film it because she was being such a bitch. That lady said that it was double bitches in here. She worse than the other one last night. That was a little girl from the supermarket, though. She was nice to me last night. Who? Why she was being so mean when she couldn't that read three? That black girl. No, she, she, she couldn't read. She just making it seem like it was one. She had a three. stroke, and if you watch it, she had a stroke. Her one arm was bad, and so she got got, got a little loosely speech. Right. As I met her in the supermarket. Well, she a whole totally different person in this Motel Six then. But she ain't believing the word. I said if I hadn't had these receipts, you showing up would have just had one day. Yep. Shit, receipts prove everything. Sure did. It's lucky I got them, cause. And I always get them being up in a motel. Let's they taught me to be in. Let's get on up into the big picture. In a Motel Six. I never, I never seen, uh, I never seen anything like that happen before. No, I know. The motel gonna rip you off. Yeah. Then she told Dale to turn the camera off, but she didn't want to see what butthole she was. Oh, no, you leave the camera on. She ain't seen no butthole. And Miss Betty, she hadn't came up in there because she said she'll straighten it out, and she did. Because she straightened out, they still ain't straightened your name out. I told them that ain't your name, Andrea. Bullock, it's Bullock. I want, I wonder who owns the motel. Uh, they say American owned. Okay. I'm sure calling them though. Yeah. I'm going to call Port, but she gave it to me. They number on this paper. Somebody don't want to be filmed. That's shady. Yeah. They run a, that. You run a shady business in here. You don't want to be filmed. Yep. Trying to hide something. Dre's place brought in help all the way from Pennsylvania. But the help didn't show up. They're back in the hotel talking about taking a shower. Come on, the kids. I hope they come on. Shower and all that. I 
we go. Boot truck wall. We at the big show, guys, as you can see the, the grounds. We got us in a different place this time. Here's Miss Liz out there. Hey, Miss Liz. Guys, as you can see, the grounds are a lot different and bigger. It's gonna be way more people. They're estimating about 60,000 people here Ooh, today. 60,000 people. Food truck wars and the fireworks show. It's going to be some kind of awesome. So we're getting ready for them. As soon as I can find a key. And they come in here, them trucks. They know they're going to make some money today, so they're all piling up in here. Yeah. So it's going to be a powerful day, guys. I'll be all right. Everybody come here today to do their thing. Y'all can see directly across from us. It's our indirect, direct competition. Do we care about competition? Hell no. We like a little competition, make it fun. <laughs> Shout outs to you. We're here. We made it through the grace of God. We are here, man. We're going to be looking exciting for you to come by Dre's and get you some of that good barbecue that you like. So we got a lot of in-between work to do. So let me get back to work. We'll see you later. Well, as usual, it's the challenge. And we got a new hire that we're getting ready to do. Meet the new fellow from up the street. He's going to work at Dre's place at Food Truck Wars. So we got Daryl, we got a new man that's trying to join the team. I hope he can make the cut. Hey, let me ask you a question. Ooh, wrong, man. Do no. you have any problems with being on TV? No, I don't. Well, this show is going to be a reality show that we're going to be on today. It's called The Rotation Return. Are you willing to sign the waiver? Um, if that's what it takes to get keep, keep the job. That's what it takes to keep the job. What it Boom, takes. we got you. How y'all doing today? Uh, I got my daughter right there. Hey, we want to get you in your Raw's form on TV. As the artistic returns, we got Shark Day. Turn it on the TV. Okay. Okay. Right, right, you're the owner. Yeah, I'm the owner. Okay. Yeah, I'm the owner, man. It, it just, it, it just got, it made, it was made town a little different. It was who? It sounded, when it came off to me, it was, uh, it made it sound like something. I didn't know that you were really on it. Oh. Uh, it's kind of warm, ain't you? Yeah. Put that meatloaf right there. Truck Wars 2014. No, I'm the owner, man. My wife ain't no damn owner or nothing. Hey, I appreciate this, This right here is Pat's brother. Six foot three, 320 pounds. And Dre wants to talk about what size shirt he wears. Who said that? Pat did. Yeah, no shirt. Oh, I got two X's? Yeah. Yeah, Oh, you got two X's? That's big enough for you? They run big, bro. I I run up. I really run up there. Oh, shit. He's 300 pounds. Right. Yeah, what you looking for? No, it. Look at one of them brown fins. Dre's still trying to figure out what he's going to cook on the cooking show. So he's trying to come up with some different ideas a little bit later on with the food truck wars and pork knives. Let's go. America, I can put a trick on him. I can come back to America and I can hit him with the potato salad. Oh, that blow their mind. I might blow their mind. I put the potato salad up on them. They've got 
that's when I'll come back with America. Instead of giving them a spaghetti pasta salad, we'll still give them fresh, light, and airy. But we'll fresh and light and airy them up with a little potato salad. Karen, you getting this chicken clean? I am. She reminds me of Lisa in her own special way. Oh, oh. Now, which one's Lisa? Oh. Which one ain't got the top on the pot? She did Olympic tricks and broke her ribs or something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's the one with Tony? Yeah, she was here with Tony. Okay, you got that clean? Now, let me thank you, sir. That's good. That's good. The one okay, that... now, the next picture I like you on, young man. Yes, sir. Is, uh, let's throw this in the garbage. Yeah. I don't know what this is. Oh, I remember. The one that, uh, Tony caught, though. the greens were bigger than okay. she was. She really had a bitty thing. Now, like I can tell you, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm the, I'm the brother-in-law. So I gotta make sure stuff is ran according to keeping everybody else in. Put that up for yeah. me, sir. Refrigerator. Yeah. Okay. Got them over there. Hey, I got them releases up here for everybody. Oh, yeah, saw. we need them. I think they're well, well, it looks like at the end of the day, the pasta was in and the potato salad was out. Here's the cooking show right here. Now, Dre, did he make any claims of culinary expertise? Well, he did and he didn't. He made claims he's been on a lot of food trucks. Okay. So he should know a little something. Well, he didn't claim he had no culinary skills, but he did claim he'd been on plenty of trucks cooking fast foods. Sausage and onions, totally different story. Okay. It's hamburger, Mike. I really don't want the camera in too much in my head. Doing good, doing a good job. Being honest with you, bro. Uh, uh oh, he said he don't want to be on the camera, Jay. He don't want to be on camera? No, I just don't want it right, right in my face. Man. Oh, yeah, man, but you got to be working, though. This part of the job, bro. Oh, uh, he's having trouble right. already with them bell peppers. Hey, I, hey, I forgot. I yeah, let me get a knife face shirt, buddy. No, don't put me on there, man. I, I'm going to want it, man. Hey, man, <laughs> hey, man, I don't want a man in here. There you go, young man. Let me help you out. Hey, that little girl. That little you girl. You like you're having problems already. The girl at the hotel, she didn't want to be on. Sure. Huh? The girl at the hotel didn't want to be on. Oh, at the hotel? I'm trying to rip you all off. Uh, I'm not trying to rob me, see, I'm going to get up there trying to rob Mr. Trade. Come on, Mike. Come on, turn off. Oh, that knife makes me sharp. Yeah, this knife is uh, Come on, under like that. They have a stone at the house, too. Come on, more than three, man. How are we up in there? Uh, when when y'all going to be ready to start? About, about two. Next door neighbors want to know when they can start. Oh, about two o'clock. Yeah, you're you a vendor? Oh, I can help you out then. As soon as the barbecue get ready, about 20 minutes. All right. Huh? Two steaks on the sticks. Oh, two fillets on the sticks? I ain't cut that up yet. I, I get it cut. I'm going to cut it up. I'm going to cut it as soon as I get this space. There's one out on the picnic table. It's just one stick of filet mignon. Okay, how much is mine? Nine dollars. Right. Just do one for now. Okay. 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 That'd be fine. Where you at? Right hey, is this going on? Oh, okay. So can we interview you? No, they didn't want to. Oh, you passed? You don't want to be interviewed? You don't want to be on my barbecue cooking show? You're awful cute. You look good on camera. Okay. Okay. Thank you. People that don't want to be on camera got something to hide. Oh. No, it's, it's no, it makes you nervous. It just makes you right nervous. Here. You know, they want, they want to the reason I said something? Because when it's right in your thing and you get asked questions, concentrate. Yeah, I shouldn't well, have said anything. Let me, let me help you concentrate. Turn your head. You help me concentrate. You give me a sharp knife. You give me a sharp knife and I'll concentrate. I'll do all the concentrate. Sharp knife. Sharp knife, I'll do all the concentrating you need to do. There you go, man. Sharp knife right here. For real, though. I got the sharpness, bro. I mean, you sweating everywhere, man. Wipe, wipe yourself off, man. There you go. I got sharpness everywhere. Yeah, I know. I got some at the house. This one much better, man. I don't know. Oh, that thing's cutting good now. You never let them see me sweat in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> I 
game charm enough. Hey, you in my you almost in Miami, Florida. And then you ain't gonna have some sweat car now. Something wrong with that picture. Dice that thing on up, man. Dice them things on up. I know you can dice them things on up. Oh, uh, man, you're spilling more on the floor than you're getting. You get more on the It'll floor than you are in the pan. Looks good. It'll work out. Mike, you already bust that buffalo chop out soon. Yeah, it's good. What buffalo chop? Yeah, one more time. You already chopped the barbecue up as soon as you finish playing. I'm done playing. I'm waiting on you. You got to dice the slice over here. You got to dice and slice them? No, you got to cut them smaller, man. Mm -hmm. They got to go on the, uh, okay. you got to cut them up small. Uh, they got to go, uh, that helps. Come on, right here. What's wrong? Yeah. Go more. Go over there. He's getting in my, my, my roll here. I'm going to let her finish cleaning chicken, man. You get out of the way. I'll help her clean the chicken. Get that hamburger up. Hey. Uh oh, another day's race. You work on the hand over there. Back up back. I'm going to the hand over there. Don't be difficult. No. No. Don't be difficult. Hey, no. 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 Man, I was doing this when you was a little baby. Shoot. How old are you? Get all these cans of soda around here. Sausage and onion is totally different. You just rotate the sausage and onion. You gotta look good. You did a good job on it. I thought it did all right. Yeah. You got a nice thick cut. Appreciate the positiveness. That, that suffice to single to the boss, man. Then we're all straight. Anything diced up? It looks nice to me. And I'll grab your half wheel and put them in that, that sauce over there on that tray right there. Yes, sir. Okay, put them on this. All right. Here. Is that more fun? Yeah, that'll work. Work right. smart. Yes, don't work hard. Yes, sir. comes the lobster man. Quick man, we gonna oh. talk to you, man. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> you mean over here at Dre's place? Yeah. This guy's got the best South, the best Carolina barbecue in town. And now what are you selling in the town today? Yeah, we brought, we brought to the table real main claw meat, claw knuckle and arm, and our special sauce. And you know right. Dre how I roll. That real lobster? Came out real main lobster claw meat, lobster mac and cheese, always a big hit. And the wraps, the salads, mama makes some homemade this. Ready to go. He's Ready the one go. that always wins, isn't he? No, he's not the one. The oh. other guy always wins. The big daddy seafood or something? No, claw daddy. And I, I love those guys. They're, they're yeah. good. They're good boys. They and they put out a good product. Everybody works hard, puts the best product out there. Those yeah. are the ones who shine in this industry. Yeah. Best product, we're the busiest. When they want to know why, because we put out the best. That's right. That's why we're here. No sacrifice. We make it happen. That's why we're here. See, a lot of people fall because of that. That's but, right. Uh, you know, we always go at it. We always go at it. You're always busy. 
I love being across from you, bro. I don't want to be next to you because you lie to be all up in me. Hey, he said that literally. I'm being serious. We run a big lie, Drake. I think I got good distance on you today. Oh, yeah. If it comes over there, you let me know. I'll come on and help you. All right. We love you, man. I'll be back too, bro. All right. Food Truck Wars. Sam Fuck for what? Getting yeah. a hamburger and stuff. That's where I thought you was going. Nah, I'm going to go just no Sam Fuck getting no hamburger. Sam's called way up and... Sam Fuck, come on, wait. It ain't right there. Come back. Way up on that road. You got Walmart, Super Walmart right there on Malabar. That's what we went to. Yeah. That one ain't that far away. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, the crew is getting things ready, getting the macaroni and cheese ready and all the other parts ready. But where is all the help from Pennsylvania? They ain't in here. Whoa, I believe Dre got the show figured out. Go ahead, Dre. Okay, we'll get everybody back over here. I'm we'll just thinking of my routine. Should I cut a piece of watermelon? Man, have you got some? Yeah. Yeah. All right, this is the Mass Reduced Cooking Competition. As soon as you get all that off, I'm going to put some more on there. Okay. Daryl, you see I'm ahead of the game today. I see that. But it don't take long to go down fast. Especially with the amount of people they got coming up in here today. You grab the gloves, man. Let me show you. Yeah, you show me. Because you act like you're scared of this barbecue. I ain't scared, man. It's hot, man. It ain't that hot, man. Yes, it is. Believe me, it is. Let me show you, man. See, these ain't no working man hands. These will hold the women. Okay, why did you make this? Why would you? <laughs> I was just for a cooking show. I was for the cooking show. Yeah, man, I'm handling that meat like it ain't nothing. I guess you can. You've been doing it for 40 years. I guess you could. Why you got to look your hands? Yeah, no, whip your hands. See, and I always look to make sure my bone is intact. Because my bone ain't intact, I got a problem. This was born in 1961, the same year I was born. In. Oh wow! So I was born before that. Okay, now unplug that this plug. This is how right? you process the chopped pork. Unplug that plug. We know how to process pork. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Oh no! The line came out of nowhere, and Dre is the only person with a line. And they're piling up by the hundreds. Look at it. Look, look, look at that pile of people coming across. Look at that. Oh, God Almighty. And Dre's daughter is nowhere in sight. They need help quick. Hey, we waiting on y'all. What y'all doing? Tell them we get will. We need help. We slammed out over here, Charlie. We got a long line already. We need help over here. Is Dre's Place Barbecue gonna be able to handle Food Truck Wars 2014 Pompeii? Or are they gonna fall apart?
Everybody's won ribs, but the ribs ain't done yet. And you got a chicken and a platter. 25. Food Truck Wars. Well, folks, we had the setup crew, but now we got the all-star team. That's Chardé and T, and they get ready to roll these orders out like a pro. Hot dog and fries. Here, baby, you want a cup? Seven, give me six. Give them little cups right there. Fries, who has that? No, it's enough to buy the sports bag. Yeah, fries. And I order mushrooms down? Yeah, we got an order ready. Yeah. The third one. You have some sweet potato fries? Uh, no. I had it in the bottom. Oh, okay. Five, four, six. Yeah. A red platter. Just a red sandwich? I need a red sandwich. Everybody's won ribs, but no ribs are ready. Ain't no need to worry. Charde in the house. Watch how fast her hands are moving. Who radio? Them orders is going out. Two more out the way. That's short day. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Not a thing. Oh, you're going to get some ribs off for you right now. I'm going to do a rib and a brisket platter. Now, usually at Dre's place, the food is waiting and the boxes are needed to be made. But the all-star team, they got a line laid out there five wide. They're ready to make the boxes. They're waiting on the food. And that's a first. There are still people in line. Well, America, man, there's still some people at the at the people's. The storm is coming. We batting down for the hatches. Oh man! Oh shit! We got a tick going away. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta go grab it. I gotta go grab it. I gotta get up. Oh shit!
Dre's place was dominating the event. They were the only one with a substantial line, but the rain got them. It was hot, but we sure did get cooled off. See you next time at Food Truck Wars.